from blocking highways to forming human chains and dressing up as characters from Margaret Atwood's dystopian novel, The Handmaid's Tale. For three months, up to half a million Israelis have taken to the streets across the country to protest a judicial overhaul planned by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's government. The growing revolt piled pressure on Netanyahu to suspend the overhaul until Parliament reconvenes at the end of April. Here's what's happening in Israel, the stakes behind Netanyahu's judicial overhaul, and where things could be headed next. There are many layers to it, but there are three things you need to understand. First is changing the committee that appoints judges. This overhaul will give the ruling coalition a majority on that committee, and that will allow them to place like-minded judges on the bench. The second pillar of the judicial overhaul is to limit the jurisdiction of the court. That means what cases will the court be able to hear? And the third thing, and perhaps the most controversial bit, is what's called the override clause. That will allow a simple majority of parliament, meaning 61 of 120 lawmakers, to override decisions of the Supreme Court. Netanyahu and his coalition partners say this judicial overhaul is necessary in order to balance out the court. They say that the court is dominated by liberals and that it's way too activist. The court itself needs a check on its power because it is essentially blocking the will of the people. For people who oppose the overhaul, they believe it will undermine the Supreme Court completely. We came here to protest against the degradation of the Israeli democracy. We see a, a process where the rights of the people will be over time consumed by this theocratic government. These protests have really exposed long-held divisions in Israeli society between its secular side and its religious, more conservative side. One of the major problems of this overhaul for the protesters is that it's being advanced by Prime Minister Netanyahu himself. Netanyahu has long been a defender of the court, and they ask themselves, why is Netanyahu suddenly supporting this massive judicial overhaul? And for them, the answer is clear. It's because Benjamin Netanyahu is on trial for corruption. And if this overhaul passes, they believe he will use it in order to get out of his own legal problems. Netanyahu denies this, but the protesters at this point simply do not believe him. After Netanyahu has paused the legislation, it will be very, very difficult for the opposition and ruling coalition to find an agreement on this issue because they are so far apart as it stands. Perhaps the opposition and the coalition will find a compromise, but if they don't, we can expect this conflict to come back and to come back strongly.